before we even get into it, do not forget guys, I am giving you the chance to win my 1000 horsepower BMW F90 M5 for just £25. You're talking a fully forged engine capable of 1500 horsepower, one of only three in the UK. It's got upgraded Garrett GT30 76R hybrid turbochargers. It's got an RK Auto Works methanol injection kit. And of course, these beautiful 21 inch HRE R101 wheels, which are the lightweight versions weighing only 8 kg per corner. If you want to know more details and more spec on this car, make sure to head into the description. I've made a playlist called Super M5 where I've linked every video to it. So I'm going to put you back in the video but the last thing I want to say is do not miss out on your chance of winning the ultimate, I repeat, the ultimate BMW M5. Ticket links in the description below. How you doing Alex mate? You alright? It's a bit close that it's is. It's a bit close isn't yeah, it? Yeah back up yeah, just a little yeah. bit. Oh, back oh. up, back up. Finally I'm going to be out in an RS6 new shirt. Is it the C8? C8, C8, C8 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your first one isn't it? First, first one, first one yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's actually the first time me seeing one and guys let me tell you this thing, oh my god, the road presence, presence yeah. is ridiculous. It is beautiful. Every last thing and it's a lot of money as well isn't it? It's not a cheap car. Nah, um, so they do them in three different stages. They do, I think it's just the base spec, the carbon and the Vorsprung. This is the carbon, so you get all, all the carbon fibre everywhere, all like the dry carbon on the interior. Yeah. I think this, I think this retailed like 116. 116 grand? If you walk into your dealership, I'll do this car. If you paid full list for yours. <laughs> <laughs> didn't pay anywhere near that. Yeah. <laughs> engine wise, is it similar to the pre-gen RSX? It's the same size engine as Twin Turbo. It's a completely redeveloped engine. Right. Uh, like when you open the bonnet in a bit, you'll see it's completely, mm -hmm. it's, it's essentially the same engine as like the Lamborghini Urus. So right. we first saw this engine in the Urus and some of the Porsche Can Turbo S's as well. Mm -hmm. I want to say the parent, like the Panamera's as well. You know what it's like, the VAG platform, they just share everything. Yeah. So redeveloped engine, same yeah. uh, displacement size. Yeah, right? same four liter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, twin turbo V8. Twin turbo V8. Yeah, uh, still a ZF8 box, but a different box, redeveloped again. Like the thing is, like you drive a C7. Like if you're a C7 owner, it's twin. You'll know, like a C7. You've driven C7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, yeah. Like, good car. Good yeah, car. Quick good car. car yeah. This is just next level, especially in terms of like the chassis. Like a C7 is a good car, but you drive it now and it feels a bit like floating, a bit boaty. Do you get what right, I mean? Like yeah, you can I do. feel it's a lot of weight, whereas this yeah. just feels so tight, especially like the four wheel steering. Okay, so it's got four wheel steering. Yeah, yeah? four wheel steering. Yeah, right. yeah. And you feel that when you drive? Yeah, massively. Yeah, you're seeing a bit mass. Like a typical in an Audi, like especially a big heavy Audi like this with all the weight over the front, a roundabout, you know, like you can feel the nose like pushing out on yeah, the roundabout. Yeah, a bit of understeer, yeah. Yeah, just as you start to feel the understeer, the rear just brings it all back around That's again. what it does now, yeah? Yeah, you can wow. feel it on like a country road and everything, like it's good, it is good. And, and it looks like a big car, like what is the weight on this? This has got to be around 2,000 kilos. I think like, it is, not yeah, more? around two tonnes. It doesn't feel it with like with the four wheel steer. Like parking, it's easy as well. Right. Like, you so look at it and you think it's such a big car, but like with the four wheel steer, it's so yeah. maneuverable. So, um, so it's got the eight-speed ZF box. So yeah, we've got a four-wheel four drive. Yeah, four-wheel steering. Should, is it uh, like kind of rear BIOS or still front BIOS? You know, power? I'm not too sure. I'd imagine it's what probably it like, it's probably sixty rear, forty front. That's yeah. what most like the VAG performance stuff is. Um, Does it feel like it wants to step out from the rear? Nah. You don't know. Okay. Nah. Right. Not at all. I've never really like tried it. Tried it. Mm. But I, I wouldn't have thought. Unless you're doing something wrong with it, I wouldn't have thought you're gonna you're not gonna get it to play. Yeah. Wouldn't have thought so. Okay, let's go into what you've done then. So stock power is yeah, so roughly... stock uh, Audi say they're six oh five PS. Um, on my dyno it made five hundred and ninety three horsepower. I wanna say like seven hundred and eighty newton meters, around that sort of numbers. Mm -hmm. Then we developed our stage one ECU software on it, which was seven hundred horsepower and just over a thousand newton meters of torque. Oh. Then we've been working with, you know the guys at Prawn, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So China. Nick, K at Prawn, um, mm -hmm. all the calibration. So we've actually been working with Nick, Prawn and us, QST, on this project. Mm -hmm. uh, so like Prawn have done the downpipes on it as well. Um, and essentially going like back and forth for the last like three months to really offer, I'm going to say it's the best software for an RS6, RS7, C8. Yeah, well I've been chatting on, to them guys at Peron and yeah, yeah like you yeah, say, it's, it's a proper, yeah. Yeah, it's a quick car. Yeah, yeah. Um, between on a Dynajet to Maha between 790 830 horsepower, uh, 1150 to 1200 newton meters of torque. And this is on a stage two, yeah? Stage two. Yeah. But the thing is, stage two on this is literally just down parts and intake. Yeah. You're running an Acra as well? Or? Yeah, yeah. So it's got the Acra turbo back, prawn down pipes with cats as well. Um, and then I was chatting to you earlier, um, been working on an intake with Bilal at Eventuri. Right. So it's yeah. got a pre production intake. We picked up like 60 horsepower by doing the intake. So you've got the larger elbows there. 
Right. Um, Even sure. I yeah. want to say around seventy percent larger. The stock ones are super restrictive, almost like a bottleneck, and they got all like the directional airflow veins inside them. Mm -hmm. But when you start turning the boost up, they just won't flow. Um, so the major gain is in the elbows. That's most of your power gain. Then obviously the airbox as well. You're gaining another load of power there as well. Right. Um, so I helped Bilal done it as he did. A new front panel here in carbon as well. Nice. Um, and it just kicks the out there and it's got BMC footer in there. Uh, but these are going to be available in like six weeks time or so. Right, so he's um, developed these literally on your part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we developed it with him and then Slav uh, Eurocharged um, right. in Canada. Mm -hmm. So all three of us have worked together on these. So has it been a bit of a nightmare to tune because obviously most new cars, the ECU's are locked. No, no, so these, it was literally straight in. Um, so yeah, it's the Bosch, it's the MG1 ECU, uh, so it's been out for a few years now. It's not like the RS4s and the RS5s, so it was a couple of years. Like this literally, we bought the car, I think it got driven home once, V-powered, ECU straight out of it on the bench. Okay, I'm loving it. it, man. It done like 100 miles before it was on the dyno being tuned. Like yeah. literally, this car's done most of its life on the dyno and yeah. doing development on the road as well. And just to confirm, sorry, horsepower roughly was? Uh, 830 horsepower and 1100 newton meters torque on a Maha on a Dino Whoa. Jet in SAE. It was 792 horsepower and 1200 newton meters of torque. Whoa. So, so depend depending depending on the Dino, uh, but this is still on the stock intercoolers as well. So we're developing with guys at Pron again, uh, Garrett called intercoolers for it. Right. Because um, like you do one or two pulls on these and you're instantly down in power. Just where the stock intercoolers. These are air to air. The old ones mm. were uh, charge cooled. Um, there was so a big issue with the previous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they were air to water, they were charge cooled. You had obviously yeah. a charge cooled reservoir these yeah. on there, but these are like old school intercoolers. Okay. Um, so they've gone back. Yeah, you've got one either side in there. Yeah, but yeah. Um, so that's what we're working on next. It's easy another like 40 horsepower, but again, the consistency. Um, so, like this car at the minute runs a 5.84 to a 5.85, 100, 200. Wow. Well, like, it's, it's so consistent as Quite well. That is rapid. Um, it's a quick car. Stock, yeah. it was a 9.3. Yeah, I mean, it's the quickest. 100 200 pump stock turbo car in Europe, so yeah, it's moving. Wise, yeah. yeah, it's moving. Fucking, I can't wait to get out in this, guys. Uh, let's have a little look at the interior as well because everything about this car is just sick. You've got the Voss and what are they 21s? 22s, 22s, that's, that's what they come on. Yeah, so they come on 22s now. Uh, that's going to affect tire, performance, so, though, isn't it? You can't feel it though, where it's such a big car. Yeah, um, I think like the basic spec cars come on 21s. I, I ain't ever seen one on 21s at all. On 20, every single one we've had in has been on 22s. Yeah. Um, You've got the PS4S on here as well. Yeah, they come on either Hankooks or Prellies, but the Prellies were horrible. We we're talking oh, about Hankook. sort of Yeah, Hankooks or yeah. Prellies, weird. Interesting. So, like you say, you've got the Acra, you've got more carbon on the rear. Yeah, you've got the private on there as well. That's all nice. stock. Yeah, it's all stock. Obviously, yeah. the Acra. Um, Bad. Titanium right? with the carbon tips. Mate, it sounds, sounds incredible. Um, yeah. But it's nice, as you expect with an Acra product, with the valve shut, it's literally a silent car. Like, you wouldn't know it's got an exhaust on it. Yeah. Um, which is like, you spend 100 grand on RS6, you don't want to be driving it down the road, popping and banging everywhere. You don't want drone, it, it's yeah. silent with the valve shut. A quick little look in the interior because I've actually not looked into one of these yet. It's a nice car. Yeah, no, that is ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, so look, that's a evolution from the pre-gen with our first seats are kind of similar like they, they're obviously slightly different very futuristic isn't it all touch panels and wow uh, okay should we jump out alex yeah let's go yeah let's do it man Just quickly, um, your QST tuning on, you, we mentioned it in the S3 video. Yeah, VAG tuning and maintenance predominantly. Um, yeah. Bit of M power as well on the side. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just a performance German tuning specialist. You've gone through quite a few cars. You've had a Porsche GT4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've um, you got an R8 twin turbo at the moment. Yeah, I've got 1100 horsepower R8 V10 plus twin turbo. Man, is not playing games. Yeah. No, no, it's quite a cool car. Yeah. Um, had quite a few big power like MQB cars, like the Golf Rs. I had, I actually had the first Audi TTS AS to run a 10 second quarter mile right, like yeah, four yeah. years ago. Was it a black one? Or? No, it was a white one. White one, sorry. Um, so was it a black Golf you had or? Yeah, I had a black Golf R, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, the V5 MEF on it, it was 564 horsepower that one was. That's Definitely like, deserves like, some credit, man. It was like 19 when we got that record. Obviously, like, you have <laughs> family business, haven't you, as well? Yeah, so my dad's been running the company uh, he started the company like 28 years ago now. Um, 28 so he years. started on the originals, like the Audi Urquachos, so like all the originals, and we've just essentially been like evolving and evolving. Uh. Um, 
Evolve Automotive in, yeah? <laughs> Stop trying to Quit plug, little plug in, man. This isn't Imran's video, man. <laughs> He's got enough money. Let yeah. me have some. God, that is tight. Oh, f yeah. Uh, should I jump out? I'm going to curb the Vossens. Well, wide, isn't it? Like a, uh... That's a new 4 Series. It's not that bad. What do you think, honestly? The, what? No good. Are we talking about BMWs now? Yeah. <laughs> I like them. I like them. I personally really like them. Put your foot down here. Yeah, so that's in auto mode. Auto, yeah? Yes, yeah, so we'll go into the RS2 mode, drop it down a good. Jesus! <laughs> Man, that's talky, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Man, you know what? Jesus Christ, man. You get on the brakes, don't you? <laughs> Put the yeah. relentless pull after each shift. Yeah, so that's... It's not just dying so off, is it? So second gear, we've still got the torque slightly limited. Then you yeah. get to third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and obviously... We're about right. You've got all... Yeah, you can feel that torque, man. But yeah. But even like then, you yeah, can just and, feel the torque. And you know what I love about the Acura? It's not too over the top, that is it? That shot like this, silent. But you can hear. silent. Guys, you know what? The cabin is amazing. It's like, it's something out of a Star Trek movie, isn't it? It's just, yeah. It's it's, su yeah, it's such a nice place to be. We developed a kit with KW. So KW came out of their Haas kit, yeah. but I wasn't quite happy with how the car rode on the rear of the car and the height. So then we developed our own, we call it our QST exclusive Haas kit um, with KWs. We've got our own Haas lowering kit. Nice. So if you want to really drop these low, it's the right kit for you. But it's got yeah, TCU software as well, so gearbox is a load quicker. Right. Now, man. Hey, that is actually ridiculous, isn't it? Um, this new ZF box is something else, isn't it? a lot it? quicker than the old one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, rapid. But like you say, you've had the uh, yeah, gearbox did, Yeah, software. we did the TCU as well. Fucking hell. The brakes were sick as well, weren't they? Man, you can feel it really squatting, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Oh, the front end feels nice on it. Jesus. It leans into the corner as well, doesn't it? Man, it does handle well, doesn't it, for a big girl? And guys, this isn't like your your average generic map. Like this has been I know, this something is, that's been yeah. Done. This is this is three months worth in, of yeah. R and D with Nick. Yeah. What you're saying is interesting because this is what I get every day at work. Yeah. You get guys ring up and you give them a quote and they're like, "Ah, oh, but I can get it done cheaper somewhere yeah, else." No, no, no. But those guys which are doing it cheaper, yeah. they're not buying the hundred thousand pound cars. They're not spending mums of their time eat every late night getting the cars dialed yeah. in getting the cars right spending the money on the r d mm. having the hundred thousand pound dinos yeah it's it's something that needs to be touched more like not every everyone always thinks a tune's a tune a tune yeah. is not a tune no 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 this has been worked all around right I drivability software, mapping and, you know, yeah and like you said it's doing a consistent i mean guys 5.8 seconds we go left 5.8 seconds 100 to 200 kilometers just which is 62 to 124. That is ridiculously quick. That's quicker than Lambo's R rates. And uh, I mean, my M5 on V power, like, it's not far away. Right it would like, you know? destroy an Aventador, or Hurricane. Yeah. Yeah. It's really expensive. But cars. in stock form, it's not even, I mean, That's nine seconds. <laughs> Guys, you're talking nine seconds to 5.8. Stock, like, you wouldn't even bother driving yeah. it fast. It was that disappointing. If you've got an RS6, you need to get a tune 100%. Wow, you know what? I you like it. Every gear you go on, it's just getting quicker and quicker. It's relentless, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't fade off one bit. Oh man, that wheel just feels so good straight away, man. Look at this, I can literally, I don't even know if you can see, but look, you can throw it like, it's that light. That's the thing is that you want a light steering. I mean, you feel more connected to the car. The old ones, the steering was so heavy in them, which just wasn't nice. There you go. Yeah, just touch the full handbrake release, off you go. Yeah, I'd probably prefer it in manual, to be that fair. Is, yeah, that is manual, yeah. There you go. Oh, You geez. can feel the full... Oh, you haven't driven one? Yeah. No, I get used to it. <laughs> you literally barely have to turn the wheel. Whoa, guys. Dude, I get, I get used to the it. car stays. My God, no leaning whatsoever. It's like... It's so direct. Staying like ruler straight. I always forget when people haven't driven it before. They're like, "What?" Whoa, it's when man. you when you go around a roundabout Whoa. for the first time. Mate, that weird. feels amazing at the front. You know that. Wow. It doesn't feel like an Audi, does it? Nah, look at that. 
look, it's like you can make small little adjustments, like. But that's the suspension, the GR as well. It's yeah, yeah, massive, yeah. But... And listen to that nice little roar yeah. on the back. <laughs> this feels militant right now. <laughs> I get gas, man. <laughs> <laughs> it is a cool car. It is a really cool car. It's a well, nice you package. You never know you're driving a car with the, the, the dimensions of this. Yeah, so probably with the M5. Is, um, when you drive the M5. Um, it's a bit too big for the road. Like you do notice it's very wide. I mean, this is obviously wide, but it doesn't feel it. I'm giving the illusion that it's fucking like we're in an S3. Like, yeah, 100%. Wow, man, I'm liking this a lot. You've got a G meter down here. You've got a power talk. So you've got like the virtual heads up display on here. This is nice. Look how light the wheel is. Fucking hell, it just makes you want to cruise it, doesn't it? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's an all-in-one car. And it's uh, very responsive of the front. You can oh, just look. feel it now. It's fourth gear. Barely off the it. Pole. Jeez, look at the speedo. So how can I even be real? Man, nah, that is nuts. It's a lot of torque. Yeah, see, this is the difference of with having a proper tune on your car. Off the throttle, it's almost working like it's naturally aspirated. It drives, like, it it drives better than a stock car drivability wise, like in terms of the throttle curve and everything like that. Does it feel like I'm waiting for a turbo to load up? It's just. It's there. Well, there's All no times. lag. Where these cars are, the um, turbo is in the middle of the engine. You've got no lag at all. Where the induction path's so small, right. and obviously the hot side's always yeah. hot. Okay. Um, so there's no lag at all. Guys, um, honestly, right now, it's like I don't even want to push it. Like I'm just enjoying driving it. Um, it's a nice, nice cabin as well. Visually, with your eyes, what you're seeing. I feel like a boss, man. You are the boss, man. Yeah, <laughs> boss. <laughs> <laughs> Your boss man. Man called me boss man earlier. Imagine that. Ricky is the Fuck boss. Fuck you, no. It's the boss. And the paddles are nice and short as well. Steering wheel's nice and thin. It's not too thick. A lot of these beamers, not hating on beamers right now, but everything's this is in a the nice, right this is, this place. Is, you know what? This is actually uh, similar to the 720. The dimensions oh, yeah, are exactly yeah, yeah. the same as the It's nice and thin, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You get a nice grip on it, A lot it, of people like the, the thick steering wheels are horrible. Like, you see these people, yeah. it's like... No, no, it's To drive big, the car properly, you yeah, want you a thin need steering wheel. Exactly that. What does it rev to? Ooh. Uh, about seven. Jeez. Yeah, boy. Well, so that's second gear. You're not even getting all the torque <laughs> yeah. in second gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say it's limited, yeah? Yeah, yeah I'm impressed with a 5.8 hundred to 200. That is, uh, that is absolutely rapid considering the yeah, weight. so consistent. And we're only stage two. You ain't got a hybrid or anything. Nope. Well, what a click that is for the windows. It's like a double click in there. Living life fast window reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Been the saying cheek, the, the whole cheek. time. Mate. Oh, I'm gonna scare you. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm gonna put, <laughs> I'm gonna put like a poop emoji on your face. <laughs> Literally, he's been ripping me the whole time. I've hey. got my TNs on today, so we ain't really got much grip down here. Yeah, what your T? With no, yeah, TNs. What's it? Uh, the trainer. Oh, he's only 23 guys. Fucking ain't got a clue. Mate, the guy's not even watched The Matrix. Look what we're dealing with right now, people. You're gonna trust this guy on your... No, I'm joking. <laughs> You're lucky I don't just keep sending it around here, mate. Yeah, second gear. Second. Fucking hell. Boop. <laughs> Jeez, you know what? It's, uh, it's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> 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 guys as you start to push it it almost stays a bit stiff it doesn't I haven't want been to side adjust of it yeah, yeah fifth someone... gear oh, okay now look at the torque man wow nah this is um not in it it's just Man, rapid. It's passenger, you just like, you just feel your insides like welded in the back of the seat. Yeah, hey, this feels beautiful, you know. I feel sorry for all the customers, Oscar. <laughs> 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 it's different being on this side, isn't it? <laughs> Usually all the customers are like, ah, oh, you're like, what are you on about? It's like, yeah, I get it now. So sorry, everyone. It soaks the bumps lovely as well. Whoa, this is a uh, scary fast, isn't it? Jesus. Jesus. Oh. Don't worry, Alex, it's all under control. Oh, as long as I get home to my, my dog, we're all right. My dog and my missus. And... He sold me on the RS6, 100%. You know what, I would highly recommend anybody thinking about an RS6 right now. Yeah, man, definitely. They're stock. Throw it in the bin. 
<laughs> Honestly, <laughs> stock, throw it in the bin. Come to QS. <laughs> no, no, but it's not even a gas thing. You've got to tune it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't feel like super pointy as well, guys. You know, like some of these Audis, they overly turn, but this don't feel like that. It turns just the right amount. It's a big car, though. you got a lot of weight behind you, haven't you? Whoa, you hit the front now, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, what do I say? Like, yeah, nice, nice. Like it a lot, mate. I'm very, very impressed. I mean, obviously, there's only so much we can do driving around on the street. Obviously, it's not a track car, is it? Have you noticed, though, that it's pretty I bad on fuel? It. It's not horrific. Driving it normally, it's no worse than any normal performance car. It's no worse than a stock one, put it that way. I can't notice any torque steer under acceleration. In the you damp, notice? you get a little bit. In the damp, yeah. yeah. Yeah, interesting. I think what it was, you know earlier when, when I first sent it, where we was going up and down like this, maybe it was trying to, I don't know, maybe the dampers, what are the dampers in this? They're like, all electronic. They're yeah, factory see, dampers. I, I reckon they were like stiffening up in weird places. Like on normal corners, it's actually all right. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sold, yeah, definitely sold. I never thought that I would be left wanting on, like, but I mean, I love RS models, Audis, but, yeah. you know. But yeah, I'm left thinking like, you know what, I fucking want one, man. Instagram and Facebook at QS Tuning, um, online shop qstuning.com. If you want to see me on Instagram, Alex underscore Collins 98. Um, a bit more like behind the scenes stuff. Um, but yeah, follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Check us out if you're interested in tuning. Your RS6, whatever your German vehicle, um, drop us an email as well, we'll be happy to help. Suspect. And Cheers. guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and obviously I'll leave all the Alex's uh, details in the description below. So yeah, see you later. Bye.